Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Nick from Rise of Sports, and I'm back with another video today, breaking down what, or I guess, trying to predict week 18 of the NFL season. Um, again, I didn't, I wasn't able to last week, um, but I'm excited to try to predict this week. I have been on a tear, as you can see, 143 and 94 is my record. Um, hopefully, it's actually 144 and 94, but I don't know what happened in the Bills Bengals game. Quite yet, I have the Bengals actually winning this game, uh, which is probably shocking. I think a lot of people are thinking the Bills will probably win this one, but I don't know. I'm picking the uh, the the Bengals. I think it would be a really interesting game, but this is the last week of the season I'm trying to rank here. Um, I guess I'll keep a total of the playoffs as well. I'll still I'm still going to be predicting what I think will happen in the playoffs as well. But um, this is the last regular season week, so my goal would be to not have a hundred wrong picks. And I know that sounds real like not good at all, but if I could have less than a hundred wrong picks, I think that's pretty good. I mean, so I just looked it up, and I am literally um, like sixty-seven, sixty-six percent um correct, which is a pretty good average. If I can have like I think what is there 16 games this week and so there's 17 total games um if i could i mean i'm not gonna go 100 and if i got everything right it'd be 160 94 i'm hoping to have like 98 99 um losses which would mean i would have i would be 155 and 99 i would take that if that ends up happening i'll take it but let's just get into it sorry i'm rambling but um all right so First game will be on Saturday. They're doing um, two Saturday games, uh, Sunday games like normal, um, and then a Sunday night game. Monday night will be the national championship. I will do my best to react to that. Um, not sure. Not sure how I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'll try to do that. Uh, I might come up with my, I might put my recap actually uh, next Monday. I might do my recap next Monday. And then do my college football national championship reaction on Tuesday. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But that's probably what will end up happening. Um, so let's just get into it. Kansas City, Las Vegas. Kansas City, a huge favorite in this game. They're going to have a lot to play for. Vegas is not going to have anything to play for because they're not even close to making the playoffs. So I think Kansas City will win this game. It's probably going to be for the number one seed most likely. And I have Kansas City win the, winning this game. Um, nine and a half points is a lot, but also the Raiders are bad. And Jarrett Stenham is starting, so I have Kansas City. Titans-Jags is a massive game. Winner goes to the playoffs. The loser goes home and does not make the playoffs. So this is going to be an interesting one for me. I think if I had to go with... This is tough because the Titans have looked so bad recently. Um, really over the last like month or two, they've looked really, really bad. Like they had this division under wraps like a month ago. Um, and then now Jacksonville is all of a sudden back in it. I'm going to take the Jags, man. Trevor Lawrence, I think has had, had a great season this year and Derrick Henry and the Titans just haven't. Ryan Tannehill is out for the year. Um, I, I just don't see it. I really, I just don't see it. Um, so I'm going to take the Jags here. Tampa Bay, Atlanta. This is tough um, because I can't believe it. Is this accurate? Atlanta's favored by seven in this game. I don't know how. I guess they're think, thinking Tampa Bay is going to rest their guys. They've locked in the four seed. Basically, they have nothing really to play for. Um, it, like, is Tom Brady not playing or something? Like, is that what they're saying here? I'm not sure if Tom Brady is even playing next week because they have locked in that that four seed. Um, oh, but the Atlanta's going to be playing everybody because they have nothing to play for, just experience. Tampa Bay. <clears throat> Tampa Bay's defense is real good. 
I'm going to go Atlanta just because I think Tampa Bay will rest their starters. Uh, I'm going to say Atlanta wins this game. I think it's closer than what the spread is, but I'm going to take Atlanta, shockingly. <laughs> uh, Bills, Patriots, I'm going to go Bills. I think Bills are going to have a whole lot to play for. Number one seed implications here. I'm going to take the Bills. Vikings, Bears, I'm taking the Vikings. Uh, they need a win. They need to keep going. Um, they're going to win this division, but um, they they just they need to win for their own good. Like it doesn't even matter that they're in the playoffs or they're not in the playoffs. They need to they need to have a good last week because if they don't have they need to just get chemistry. I feel like they're just not they're not gelling right now. Uh, so I'm going to take the Vikings, Baltimore, Cincinnati. This will be more than likely for the division, but. If the Bengals somehow win, beat the Bills, then it won't be. Um, the Bengals will already have it locked up. However, um, I'm going to say the Bengals will win this game. Um, Lamar Jackson may play, may not play, but I think no matter what, I think the Bengals won this game. I mean, you've, so, you've seen what Samaj P. Ryan can do it for if for some instance, like the starters rest for the Bengals. I think Samaj P. Ryan's a really good player. And I not saying he can carry the load, but I think they would have a chance. I think they would have a chance to do it. Chargers Broncos, not a good game at all. <laughs> really a bad game to do. I'm gonna take the Broncos. They've looked good of late. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take that upset here. I'm gonna take the Broncos to win. Uh Lions Packers. If the Packers win, they get in the playoffs. Uh, if they lose, then the Lions most likely would get in, but also the Seahawks could get in. Um, we're we're going to see who the Seahawks play. I think it's the Cardinals. And if the Seahawks, if the Lions win, then they have to have the Seahawks to lose. So Seahawks might get in this in the playoffs. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to take the Packers here. I think the Packers will beat the Lions and get in. Crazy. That would be a crazy comeback for Aaron Rodgers. But I think it's going to happen. Texans, Colts, game, nothing to play for for either of these teams. I'm going to say the Texans win. Get that third one of the season, and I think the Bears will have the first pick in the draft. If the Texans win, Bears get the first pick. If not, then the Texans will. Uh, Jets, Dolphins. Again, I think the Dolphins need this one. They need it for... They're going to make the playoffs, but they still need to get this win. I'm going to take the Dolphins. Panthers, Saints. Um, Interesting. Um, because again, nothing to play for. Hard to rank this because it's just like there's nothing to play for for them. They're just playing to get another win, I guess. Um, this is this is a really tough game to rank. Like I don't know. I'll take the Saints. Whatever. I don't. I don't know. I'll take the Saints. <laughs> uh, Giants. Eagles. Eagles are playing for the number one seed. Um, if Jalen Hurts plays, I definitely think the Eagles will win. And kind of no matter what, I think the Eagles will win. The Giants are in the playoffs. They're kind of like not going to improve a whole lot if they win. So I'm going to take the Eagles here. Uh, Cleveland and Pittsburgh, I'm taking the Steelers. I think they're going to get nine. They're going to go to nine and eight. I think they'll win this one. It's in picks Pittsburgh. They need it. They need it to keep Mike Tomlin's uh, record alive. I'm hoping here. Um, and wait, did I say the Miami Dolphins would win this game? You know, I'm changing. I'm changing. New York Jets. They're winning this game. New York Jets are beating the Dolphins uh, solely because I want the Steelers to make the playoffs. So I'm taking the Jets. Uh, <laughs> Cleveland, Pittsburgh, like I said, taking Pittsburgh. Cardinals, 49ers, big spread here. I'm taking the 49ers. The Cardinals are one of the worst teams now in the league. Without Kyler Murray, uh, they just they're bad. They're just, they're just bad. Forty uh, Nineers will win this one. Rams Seahawks. They play the Rams. I was wrong. I thought they played the Cardinals. So it's a chance. I mean, the Rams could win this game. Um, I'm gonna go Seahawks though. I think the Seahawks are a better team overall. So I'm gonna go them. And finally, the last game of the regular season will be the Dallas Cowboys. And it, actually, it might not be. That's false. 
they haven't mentioned what game is going to be on Sunday Night Football. So this might not be the last game. It actually probably won't. Um, so Cowboys, Commanders. Um, we're going to take the Cowboys here. The Commanders are eliminated from the playoffs. Um, might play a backup. Dallas um, still playing for playoff positioning. Could get the number one seed, so I'm going to take Dallas. So to recap, let's go back. Um, so I have Kansas City. I have Jacksonville. I have Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to look back on this and think, what were you doing? Uh, I'm going to take the Bills, taking the Vikings, taking the uh, Bengals. I'm going to take the Broncos. I'm going to take the Packers. Taking the Texans to beat Indianapolis. I'm taking the Jets, I'm taking the Saints, I'm taking the Eagles, I'm taking the Steelers, taking the 49ers, I'm taking the who am I taking? The Seahawks and taking the Cowboys. So that is my week 18 predictions. I could see myself actually doing pretty bad this week. Uh, just some of the upsets I took. I don't feel confident about some some of these games, but I think I'll be okay. We'll see. Um, but if you have any comments or anything else, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next Rise Up Sports. Hey.